I recently had the honor to go see the movie A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. At a key moment in the story, Mr. Rogers asks for a moment of silence. And he says to the other character, we need a moment of silence to think of all the people who loved you into being. And that's what we're about today. These are sacred places with sacred stories, some unknown and some known, to be a part of that place of dignity and bring some sense of respect and diversity was an important part of why I got involved. We walked alongside them in the metro. We walked alongside them at the grocery store. They might have been colleagues in one of our work sites. So to create that linkage of humanity is a very important part of the experience. So the Irish Catholic tradition is that there is a thin line between this life and the next. And I find these places, including this specific cemetery, has the, the line is very thin. And when you add music and different cultures and worships and languages, um, that line gets even thinner. Many of our unclaimed are left at private mortuaries, private hospitals, even in, in their own residences. Unclaimed because the families do not want to bother with them or have the money to bury them. This staff, I mean, they are very compassionate. Mr. Garnett takes good, good care of all these ashes. The Decedent Affairs Office and the morgue staff, they inventory our decedents on a daily basis, and they do care for them. They're not just a, a someone that is put into a, the morgue and forgotten about. Hi, Mr. Garnett. This is Mariana. Good. Um, I'm going to need another 2016 ashes. Okay, and what was the last name? We are burying 2016. Uh, we've held them for three years. So that's the process. We hold them for three years so the families, if they don't have the money to get the ashes, they have the three year mark to pay for the ashes. If they don't still have the money, we do have a fee waiver and they can get the ashes for free. Because of the, the indigent burial, it takes a lot of time to get all the ashes out to the cemetery so they can't be buried. So we do give them a leeway of two weeks prior to the burial to last minute um, families who want the ashes. Sometimes it's a, a great experience. Sometimes a lot, a lot of families get really emotional because they're actually here to pick up their loved one and they know that this is the very end of the journey that they're going on. But for the most part, we get a lot of positive response. Hi, Ms. Gooden. This is Deputy Karani calling from the Los Angeles County Public Administrator's Office. I'm calling in regards to Linda Ruiz. Uh, you were listed as an emergency contact at the convalescent hospital, and I was wondering if I can ask you a few questions. So I know you're aware that she passed away, so my condolences to you and the rest of your friends for your loss. Did she leave behind a will, any burial instructions, a pre-need or prepaid? Nothing. Well, the main purpose is to locate family and heirs of someone who has died in Los Angeles County. So our job is to research and make sure that we learn as much about that person as possible so that we can appropriately disposition or give the information to the coroner and the morgue to appropriately disposition the body, as well as wrap up their debts and their assets. So have you spoken to your cousin uh, regarding, okay, so he's not aware that, that your brother passed away? 
Okay, and then my other question is, um, are you uh, able or willing to make any burial arrangements for your brother? No. Would you be willing to sign the release form so that the, the hospital can release the body to the county morgue? I cannot tell you how many times somebody will call us and thank us and tell us, that was my brother. He's been estranged from our family for 20 years. He's been homeless. He's been living on the streets. We had no idea where he was. But now we have closure. And that's what this staff does. And it's great work. As we have come to know the names of these people, it also reflects the reality that somehow they were disconnected from any family. We don't know all the story. We can assume some parts of the story, but clearly there is no one to claim their remains. But those kind of disconnections, we're now able to connect together. And I think that's one of the gifts of this service is to honor those both disconnects and the human connections that um, the LA County is honoring, I, and I deeply respect. Well, the County of Los Angeles has a mission. We're here to make sure that people don't fall through the cracks, and this is one example of making sure that um, everyone, these over 1,400 souls, um, we're buried with dignity and respect. We gather to remember those who have just been buried, celebrating their lives. We pause in this moment of silence to entrust them into your hands. 